headed to work, Sunset Boulevard. I haven't talked, done a little talking to Ferrari for long, but uh, me and Kay, who's filming here, we were talking about common sense, and he was saying a lot of stuff you talk about, Ty, is just common sense, and like the old cliche goes, unfortunately, common sense is no longer common in the world. But if you understand the human brain, the primitive part of our brain, which is basically your brain stem, uh, is more valuable for survival. So think about it. You're walking across the street, like right here at Sunset, and uh, there's a loud noise and you jump out of the way. If you had to go through the more complex parts of your brain, the neocortex and all that, uh, you would it would take too long and you'd already be dead by the time you logically went through the necessary steps of coming to a logical decision to jump out of the way. What you have to do differently is you have to be able to clearly delineate between the things that you can use your gut feeling for, which are lots of things. There's lots of things that gut feeling works well for. Uh, reading people, gut feeling works pretty well. Um, for obviously split second decisions in fight or flight. But then, and this is where most people go wrong, and this is where, uh, com this is why common sense is so common. The areas of your life that you can do slow thinking and be successful are things like business, career, forecasting into the future, uh, finances, and all these, uh, you have enough time that you can let the logical brain run through its necessary steps. So it's more of what scientists call mismatch theory. And mismatch theory says, your brain has everything you need to be successful in life but we mismatch the parts of our brain uh, and we mismatch them against the activities that we need them for. What you have to do is say, I'm gonna match up this part of my brain, the brain stem, the old part, with any kind of fight or flight responses and maybe reading people. Right? Although reading people, you gotta look at your past experience. Have you been good at reading people or do you always date people that turn out to screw you over later or business partnership? Then, if that's you, then you have to switch from the mismatch, uh, the brainstem and come up to the more involved and advanced parts of your brain. So when you're trying to make money, by the way, this is where, um, for the most part, you have plenty of time. If you're a day trader in the stock market, you may have to use your gut feeling a little more. But for the most part, most people and most activities you're gonna have in career, you'll have plenty of time you can think the rule of thumb is, can you think the day before on the subject? Uh, and if the answer is yes, then you're not in a rush, then use logic. If it's, if you answer no, then go with your gut. But I can't tell you how many people over trust their gut, man. Why do you trust your gut? Your gut's failed you 50 times in a row. And then there's other people I meet who are continually paralyzed by over analysis. They're always tr uh, trusting their logic and they're also failing. So. Part of it is that Peter Drucker feedback analysis that so few people use. You gotta use the feedback and go, what's really been worked in what scenarios? Don't mismatch it. And that is the man with the hammer syndrome that Charlie Monger talks about. If in the past your gut feeling worked for dating, that's great, but don't necessarily think you can extrapolate that and say it's gonna work to increase your bank account. And life doesn't work that way. I wish it was simple. Just because one time, your problem was a nail and the hammer worked, doesn't mean that it'll always work. So uh, be sure you're not using a hammer on a screw and be sure you're not using a screwdriver on a hammer. So question for you, what's an example where you uh, mismatch? You use logic when you should've used gut, you use gut when you shouldn't use logic. Leave a little comment and uh, I'll talk to you soon.